Hello all, we are here for one more lesson of this AutoCAD 2016 training course and the topic for, to, for today will be the settings of the constraints. Um, I, I've created a very simple geometry to, to show you um, one or two things about these settings. And uh, basically under the same menu where we've been seeing the geometrical and the dimensional constraints, so parametric, um, we got in here, we got this dialog box, which are the con constraint settings. Um, this is uh, quite easy to understand. Uh, we have uh, tabs for each one of the um, different possibilities. First one regarding the geometric constraints. We have these uh, uh, settings for display, uh, all the settings we have. So if we choose, for example, not to show a couple of them, what happened it is that uh, when I try to, when I define a constraint, then it is not shown. And for example, okay, this one here, so you see this setting uh, is shown, the other one it is not, okay? Uh, so this is the setting for, this setting here is for displaying uh, what you have defined or not. So it's quite simple. Uh, we can make a limitation on this uh, if uh, only to, to the settings on the current plan. So it's another possibility. Uh, the transparency and uh, the display in these situations here, okay? Regarding dimension, uh, we have also some settings for um, the names that by default the system applies, okay, and uh, what, it, what it has, and um, the possibility to show this uh, icon for the annotational constraints or dynamic constraints. So it's not very important um, at this moment because we are still dealing with the very basic stuff. Finally, regarding the auto mode, uh, as you understand also, when you apply uh, this in automatic constraint, uh, the system is not smart enough to know what is correct for all the situations or at least to grab an example and apply uh, something that's coherent uh, with the geometry. So, uh, we can define priorities for the constraints we find more useful to apply, okay? So, you have a set of priorities and you can change these with this uh, move up and down, select, clear, whatever, okay? Uh, we have this setting also for the tangent objects in particular and for the perpendicular also. Then you got tolerances and angles so that uh, the system can grab some geometry and uh, uh, it identifies that geometry as possible to, to apply the constraint. So this is um, quite easy, um, even that uh, you can uh, make some changes and to tune, but it depends uh, on each user uh, type of work and uh, each user um, way that uh, he wants to apply this kind of uh, definitions.